Procopius of Caesarea Greek, Procopios ho Caesarius Procopios ho Caesarius, Latin, Procopius Caesariensis, c. 500 c. 554 was a prominent late antique Greek scholar from Palestina Prima. Accompanying the Byzantine general Belisarius in Emperor Justinian's wars, Procopius became the principal Byzantine historian of the 6th century, writing the history of the wars, the buildings, and the secret history. He is commonly classified as the last major historian of the ancient Western world. Life Apart from his own writings, the main source for Procopius's life is an entry in the Suda, a Greek encyclopedia written sometime after 975, which discusses his early life. He was a native of Caesarea in the province of Palestina Prima. He would have received a conventional elite education in the Greek classics and rhetoric, perhaps at the famous school at Gaza. He may have attended law school, possibly at Buridus present-day Beirut or Constantinople now Istanbul, and became a lawyer reader. He evidently knew Latin, as was natural for a man with legal training. In 527, the first year of the reign of the Emperor Justinian I, he became the legal advisor adcessor for Belisarius, a general whom Justinian made his chief military commander in a great attempt to restore control over the lost western provinces of the empire. Procopius was with Belisarius on the eastern front until the latter was defeated at the Battle of Callinicum in 531 and recalled to Constantinople. Procopius witnessed the Nica riots of January, 532, which Belisarius and his fellow general Mundus repressed with a massacre in the Hippodrome. In 533, he accompanied Belisarius on his victorious expedition against the Vandal Kingdom in North Africa, took part in the capture of Carthage, and remained in Africa with Belisarius's successor Solomon the eunuch when Belisarius returned east to the capital. Procopius recorded a few of the extreme weather events of 535 to 536, although these were presented as a backdrop to Byzantine military activities, such as a mutiny in and around Carthage. He rejoined Belisarius for his campaign against the Ostrogothic Kingdom in Italy and experienced the Gothic Siege of Rome that lasted a year and nine days, ending in mid-March 538. He witnessed Belisarius's entry into the Gothic capital, Ravenna, in 540. Both the wars and the secret history suggest that his relationship with Belisarius cooled thereafter. When Belisarius was sent back to Italy in 544 to cope with a renewal of the war with the Goths, now led by the able king Totila, Procopius appears to have no longer been on Belisarius's staff. As Magister Militum, Belisarius was an illustrious man. Latin, vir illustris, Greek, illustrios illustrios, being his adcessor, Procopius must therefore have had at least the rank of a visible man, vir spectabilis. He thus belonged to the mid-ranking group of the senatorial order Ordo Senatorius. However, the Suda, which is usually well informed in such matters, also describes Procopius himself as one of the illustres. Should this information be correct, Procopius would have had a seat in the Constantinople Senate, which was restricted to the illustres under Justinian. It is not certain when Procopius died. Many historians, including Howard Johnson, Cameron, and Greatrex, date his death to 554, but there was an urban prefect of Constantinople prefectus urbi Constantinopolitani called Procopius in 562. In that year, Belisarius was implicated in a conspiracy and was brought before this urban prefect. Writings <inaudible> 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 The writings of Procopius are the primary source of information for the rule of the Emperor Justinian I. Procopius was the author of a history in eight books on the wars prosecuted by Justinian, a panegyric on the emperor's public works projects throughout the empire, and a book known as The Secret History that claims to report the scandals that Procopius could not include in his officially sanctioned history. History of the wars Procopius's Wars or History of the Wars Greek, Hyperton Polymon Logoi Hyperton Polymon Logoi Words on the Wars Latin, De Bellis On the Wars is his most important work, although less well known than the secret history. The first seven books seem to have been largely completed by 545 and may have been published as a unit. They were, however, updated to mid-century before publication, with the latest mentioned event occurring in early 551. 
The eighth and final book brings the history to 553. The first two books, often known as the Persian War Latin, De Bello Persico, deal with the conflict between the Romans and Sassanid Persia in Mesopotamia, Syria, Armenia, Lazica, and Iberia present-day Georgia. It details the campaigns of the Sassaniad Shah Kava I, the 532 revolt, the war by Kavad's successor Khosrau I in 540, his destruction of Antioch and deportation of its inhabitants to Mesopotamia, and the great plague that devastated the empire from 542. The Persian War also covers the early career of Procopius's patron Belisarius in some detail. The war's next two books, known as the Vandal or Vandalic War de Bello Vandalico, cover Belisarius's successful campaign against the Vandal Kingdom that had occupied Rome's provinces in northwest Africa for the last century. The final four books, known as the Gothic War de Bello Gothico, cover the Italian campaigns by Belisarius and others against the Ostrogoths. It includes accounts of the first and second sieges of Naples and the first, second, and third sieges of Rome. The last book describes the eunuch Narcissus' successful conclusion of the Italian campaign and includes some coverage of campaigns along the empire's eastern borders as well. The wars was influential on later Byzantine historiography. Histories, a continuation of Procopius's work in a similar style, was undertaken by Agathias in the 570s. Topic. Secret history Procopius's now famous secret history Greek, Apocryph Historia Apocryph Historia, Latin, Historia Arcana was discovered centuries later at the Vatican Library in Rome and published in Lyon by Niccolo Alemanni in 1623. Its existence was already known from the Suda, which referred to it as Procopius's unpublished works. Anecdota 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 the secret history covers roughly the same years as the first seven books of the history of the wars and appears to have been written after they were published. Current consensus generally dates it to 550 or 558, although others said it as late as 562. In the eyes of many scholars, the secret history reveals an author who had become deeply disillusioned with Emperor Justinian, his wife Theodora, the general Belisarius, and his wife Antonina. The work claims to expose the secret springs of their public actions, as well as the private lives of the emperor and his entourage. Justinian is portrayed as cruel, venal, prodigal, and incompetent. In one passage, it is even claimed that he was possessed by demonic spirits or was himself a demon. And some of those who have been with Justinian at the palace late at night, men who were pure of spirit, have thought they saw a strange demoniac form taking his place. One man said that the emperor suddenly rose from his throne and walked about, and indeed he was never wont to remain sitting for long, and immediately Justinian's head vanished, while the rest of his body seemed to ebb and flow, whereat the beholder stood aghast and fearful, wondering if his eyes were deceiving him. But presently he perceived the vanished head filling out and joining the body again as strangely as it had left it. Similarly, the Theodora of the secret history is a garish portrait of vulgarity and insatiable lust juxtaposed with cold-blooded self-interest, shrewishness, and envious and fearful mean-spiritedness. Among the more titillating and dubious revelations in the secret history is Procopius's account of Theodora's thespian accomplishments. Often, even in the theater, in the sight of all the people, she removed her costume and stood nude in their midst, except for a girdle about the groin, not that she was abashed at revealing that, too, to the audience, but because there was a law against appearing altogether naked on the stage, without at least this much of a fig leaf. Covered thus with a ribbon, she would sink down to the stage floor and recline on her back. Slaves to whom the duty was entrusted would then scatter grains of barley from above into the calyx of this passion flower, whence geese, trained for the purpose, would next pick the grains one by one with their bills and eat. On the other hand, it has been argued that Procopius prepared the secret history as an exaggerated document out of fear that a conspiracy might overthrow Justinian's regime, which—as a kind of court historian—might be reckoned to include him. The unpublished manuscript would then have been a kind of insurance, which could be offered to the new ruler as a way to avoid execution or exile after the coup. If this hypothesis were correct, the secret history would not be proof that Procopius hated Justinian or Theodora. Topic. The buildings The buildings Greek, peri -kedismaten, peri -kedismaten, Latin, de on buildings 
is a panegyric on Justinian's public works projects throughout the empire. The first book may date to before the collapse of the first dome of Hagia Sophia in 557, but some scholars think that it is possible that the work postdates the building of the bridge over the Sangarius in the late 550s. Historians consider buildings to be an incomplete work due to evidence of the surviving version being a draft with two possible redactions. Buildings was likely written at Justinian's behest, and it is doubtful that its sentiments expressed are sincere. It tells us nothing further about Belisarius, and it takes a sharply different attitude towards Justinian. He is presented as an idealized Christian emperor who built churches for the glory of God and defenses for the safety of his subjects. He is depicted showing particular concern for the water supply, building new aqueducts and restoring those that had fallen into disuse. Theodora, who was dead when this panegyric was written, is mentioned only briefly, but Procopius's praise of her beauty is fulsome. Due to the panegyrical nature of Procopius's buildings, historians have discovered several discrepancies between claims made by Procopius and accounts in other primary sources. A prime example is Procopius's starting the reign of Justinian in 518, which was actually the start of the reign of his uncle and predecessor Justin I. By treating the uncle's reign as part of his nephews, Procopius was able to credit Justinian with buildings erected or begun under Justin's administration. Such works include renovation of the walls of Edessa after its 525 flood and consecration of several churches in the region. Similarly, Procopius falsely credits Justinian for the extensive refortification of the cities of Thomas and Histria in Scythia Minor. This had actually been carried out under Anastasius I, who reigned before Justin. Topic. Style Procopius belongs to the school of late antique historians who continued the traditions of the Second Sophistic. They wrote in Attic Greek, their models were Herodotus, Polybius and, particularly, Thucydides, and their subject matter was secular history. They avoided vocabulary unknown to Attic Greek and inserted an explanation when they had to use contemporary words. Thus Procopius includes glosses of monks, the most temperate of Christians, and churches as equivalent to a temple or shrine. Since monasticism was unknown to the ancient Athenians and their ecclesia had been a popular assembly, the secular historians eschewed the history of the Christian Church. Ecclesiastical history was left to a separate genre after Eusebius. However, Cameron has argued convincingly that Procopius's works reflect the tensions between the classical and Christian models of history in 6th century Constantinople. This is supported by Whitby's analysis of Procopius's depiction of the capital and its cathedral in comparison to contemporary pagan panegyrics. Procopius can be seen as depicting Justinian as essentially God's vicegerent, making the case for buildings being a primarily religious panegyric. Procopius indicates that he planned to write an ecclesiastical history himself and, if he had, he would probably have followed the rules of that genre. As far as known, however, such an ecclesiastical history was never written. Topic. Legacy A number of historical novels based on Procopius's works along with other sources have been written. Count Belisarius was written by poet and novelist Robert Graves in 1938. Procopius himself appears as a minor character in Felix Dan's A Struggle for Rome and in L. Sprague de Camp's alternate history novel Lest Darkness Fall. The novel's main character, archaeologist Martin Padway, derives most of his knowledge of historical events from the secret history. Topic. List of selected works Procopi Caesariensis Opera Omnia. Edited by J. Horry, revised by G. Wirth, 3 vols. Leipzig, Teubner, 1962-64. Greek text. Procopius. Edited by H. B. Dewing, 7 vols. Loeb Classical Library. Cambridge, Massachusetts, Harvard University Press and London, Hutchinson, 1914-40. Greek text and English translation. Procopius, The Secret History, translated by G. A. Williamson. Harmonsworth, Penguin Books, 1966. A readable and accessible English translation of the Anecdota. Recently reissued by Penguin 2007 with an updated and livelier translation by Peter Saris, who has also provided a new commentary and notes. Procopios, The Secret History, translated by Anthony Caldellis. 
Indianapolis, Hackett Publishing, 2010. This edition includes related texts, an introductory essay, notes, maps, a timeline, a guide to the main sources from the period and a guide to scholarship in English. The translator uses blunt and precise English prose in order to adhere to the style of the original text. Topic. Notes Topic. References This article is based on an earlier version by James Allen Evans, originally posted at Newpedia. Topic. Further reading Adshead, Catherine, Procopius Poliorcetica, Continuities and Discontinuities, in, G. Clark et al., eds., Reading the Past in Late Antiquity, Australian National Up, Rushcutters Bay 1990, pp. 93-119, Alonso Nunez, J. M., Jordanes and Procopius on Northern Europe, in, Nottingham Medieval Studies 31 1987, 1-16. Amite, Ori, Procopius of Caesarea and the Girgashite Diaspora, in, Journal for the Study of the Pseudepigrapha 20 2011, 257-276. Anagnostakis, Elias, Procopius's Dream Before the Campaign Against Libya, a reading of Wars 3.12.1-5, in, C. Angelidi and G. Califonos, eds, Dreaming in Byzantium and Beyond, Farnham, Ashgate Publishing 2014, 79-94. Bachrock, Bernard S., Procopius, Agathias and the Frankish Military, in, Speculum 45, 1970, 435-441. Bachrock, Bernard S., Procopius and the Chronology of Clovis's Reign, in, Viator 1 21-32, Baldwin, Barry, An Aphorism in Procopius, in, Rheinisches Museum für Philologie 125 309-311. Baldwin, Barry, Sexual Rhetoric in Procopius, in, Nemozine 40 pp. 150-152 Belk, Klaus, Procops de Aedificis, Book V, Zu Kleinasian, in, Antiquité Tardive 8 2000, 115-125. Borm, Henning, Prokop und die Perser. Stuttgart, Franz Steiner Verlag, 2007. Review in English by G. Greatrex and Review in English by A. Caldelis Borm, Henning, Procopius of Caesarea, in Encyclopedia Iranica Online, New York 2013. Borm, Henning, Procopius, His Predecessors, and the Genesis of the Anecdota, Antimonarchic Discourse in Late Antique Historiography, in, H. Borm, ed., Antimonarchic Discourse in Antiquity. Stuttgart, Franz Steiner Verlag 2015, 305-346. Brand, David, Procopius on the Economy of Lazica, in, The Classical Quarterly 41, 1991, 221-225. Brodka, Dariush, Die Geschichtsphilosophie in der Spatentiken Historiographie. Studien zu Prokopios von Kaiserea, Agathias von Marina und Theophylactos Simicates. Frankfurt am Main, Peter Lang, 2004. Byrne, A. R., Procopius and the Island of Ghosts, in, English Historical Review 70, 1955, 258-261. Cameron, Averill, Procopius and the Sixth Century. Berkeley, University of California Press, 1985. Cameron, Averill, The Skepticism of Procopius, in, Historia 15, 1966, 466-482. Colvin, Ian, Reporting Battles and Understanding Campaigns in Procopius and Agathias, Classicizing Historians' Use of Archived Documents as Sources, in, A. Sarantis, ed., War and Warfare in Late Antiquity. Current Perspectives, Leiden, Brill 2013, 571-598. Cressy, Lea Raffaella, Procopio al confine tra du tradizioni storiografiche, in, Revista di Filologia e di Istruzioni Classica 129, 61-77. Cristini, Marco, Il seguito ostrogato di Amalafrida, Confutazioni di Procopio, Bellum Vandalicum 1.8.12, in, Clio 99, 278-289. Croak, Brian and James Crow, Procopius and Dara, in, The Journal of Roman Studies 73, 1983, 143-159. 
Downey, Glanville, The Composition of Procopius, De Aedificis, in, Transactions and Proceedings of the American Philological Association 78 171–183. Evans, James A. S., Justinian and the Historian Procopius, in, Greece and Rome 17 218–223, Evans, James A. S., Procopius. New York, Twain Publishers, 1972. Gordon, C. D., Procopius and Justinian's Financial Policies, in, Phoenix 13, 1959, 23-30. Greatrex, Jeffrey, Procopius and the Persian Wars, D. Phil, Thesis, Oxford, 1994. Greatrex, Jeffrey, The Dates of Procopius Works, in, BMGS 18, 1994, 101-114. Greatrex, Geoffrey, The Composition of Procopius' Persian Wars and John the Cappadocian, in, Prudentia 27 1995, 1-13. Greatrex, Geoffrey, Rome and Persia at War, 502-532. London, Francis Cairns, 1998. Greatrex, Geoffrey, Recent Work on Procopius and the Composition of Wars 8, in, BMGS 27 2003, 45-67. Greatrex, Geoffrey, Perceptions of Procopius in Recent Scholarship, in, Histos 8 2014, 76-121 and 121 AE Addenda. Howard Johnson, James, The Education and Expertise of Procopius, in, Antiquité Tardive 10 2002, 19-30 Kagi, Walter, Procopius the Military Historian, in, Byzantinische Forschungen. 15, 1990, ISSN 0167-5346, 53-85 online PDF, 989 kilobytes. Caldellus, Anthony, Classicism, Barbarism, and Warfare, Procopios and the Conservative Reaction to Later Roman Military Policy, American Journal of Ancient History, N. S. 3-4 2004-2005 189-200. Caldellus, Anthony, Identifying Dissident Circles in Sixth Century Byzantium, The Friendship of Procopios and Ioannes Lydos, Florilegium, Vol. 21, 2004, 1-17. Caldellus, Anthony, Procopius of Caesarea, Tyranny, History and Philosophy at the End of Antiquity. Philadelphia, University of Pennsylvania Press, 2004. Caldellus, Anthony, Procopio's Persian War, A Thematic and Literary Analysis, in, R. Macrides, ed., History as Literature in Byzantium, Aldershot, Ashgate, 2010, 253-273. Caldellus, Anthony, Procopio's Vandal War, Thematic Trajectories and Hidden Transcripts, in, S. T. Stevens and J. Conant, eds., North Africa under Byzantium and Early Islam, Washington, D.C., Dumbarton Oaks, 2016, 13-21. Caldellus, Anthony, The Date and Structure of Procopio's Secret History and His Projected Work on Church History, in, Greek, Roman, and Byzantine Studies, Vol. 49 585-616. Cruz, Marion, The Speech of the Armenians in Procopius, Justinian's Foreign Policy and the Transition Between Books 1 and 2 of the Wars, in, The Classical Quarterly 63 866-881. Lillington Martin, Christopher, 2007-2017-2007, Archaeological and Ancient Literary Evidence for a Battle near Dara Gap, Turkey, AD 530, Topography, Texts and Trenches in Bar S 1717, 2007 The Late Roman Army in the Near East from Diocletian to the Arab Conquest Proceedings of a Colloquium held at Potenza, Asirenza and Matera, Italy edited by Ariel S. Lewin and Petrina Pellegrini, pp. 200 299-311, 2009, Procopius, Belisarius and the Goths in Journal of the Oxford University History Society, 2009 Odd Alliances edited by Heather Ellis and Graciela Iglesias Rogers. ISSN 1742-917X, pages 1-17, https colon slash slash sites dot google dot com slash site slash juzinfo slash issue 7 special issue for Internet Explorer semicolon 2011, secret histories, http colon slash slash classics confidential dot co dot uk slash 2011 slash 11 slash 19 slash secret dash histories slash semicolon 2012, hard and soft power on the 
the eastern frontier, a Roman fortlet between Dara and Nisibis, Mesopotamia, Turkey, Procopios Minduis, in the Byzantinist, edited by Douglas Wallen, issue 2, 2012, pp. 4 5, http colon slash slash Oxford Byzantine Society. Files. WordPress. Com slash 2012 slash 06 slash of news 2012 final. PDF semicolon 2013, Procopius on the struggle for Dara and Rome, in A. Sarantis, N. Christie, eds, War and Warfare in Late Antiquity, Current Perspectives, Late Antique Archaeology 8.1 to 8.2 2010 11, Leiden, Brill 2013, pp. 599 to 630, ISBN 978 90 04 25257 8, 2013, La Defensa de Roma por Belisario in Justiniano I. L. Grande, Desperta Ferro, edited by Alberto Perez Rubio, number 18, July 2013, pages 40 to 45, ISSN 2171-9276, 2017, Procopius of Caesarea, Literary and Historical Interpretations, editor, Routledge, July 2017, www.routledge.com/9781472466044/2017, Introduction and Chapter 10, Procopius, Paredros Quaster, Codex Justinianus, I.27 and Belisarius Strategy in the Mediterranean in Procopius of Caesarea, Literary and Historical Interpretations above. Moss, Michael Robert, Strabo and Procopius, Classical Geography for a Christian Empire, in H. Amirov et al., eds., From Rome to Constantinople. Studies in honor of Averil Cameron, Leuven, Peters, 2007, 67-84. Martindale, John, The Prosopography of the Later Roman Empire III, Cambridge 1992, 1060-1066. Meyer, Misha, Prokop, Agathias, Die Pest und Das Ende der Antiken Historiographie, in Historische Zeitschrift 278 281-310. Pazdernik, Charles F., Xenophon's Hellenica in Procopius Wars, Pharnabazus and Belisarius, in Greek, Roman and Byzantine Studies 46 2006, 175-206. Rance, Philip. Narses and the Battle of Taganae 552 AD, Procopius and Sixth-Century Warfare. Historia. Zeitschrift für Altgeschichte 30.42005-424-472. Rubin, Berthold, Procopios, in Real Encyclopédie der Klassischen Altertumswissenschaft 23 over 1 1957, 273-599. Earlier published with index as Procopios von Kaiserea, Stuttgart, Druckenmüller, 1954. Stuart, Michael, Contests of Andrea in Procopius Gothic Wars, Perekboli 4 2014, pp. 21-54. Stuart, Michael, The Andrios Eunuch Commander Narses, Sign of a Decoupling of Martial Virtues and Hegemonic Masculinity in the Early Byzantine Empire, Suri 2 2015, pp. 1-25. Treadgold, Warren, The Early Byzantine Historians, Basingstoke, Macmillan 2007, 176-226. The Secret History of Art by Noah Charney on the Vatican Library and Procopius. An article by art historian Noah Charney about the Vatican Library and its famous manuscript, Historia Arcana by Procopius. Whitley, Connor, Battles and Generals, Combat, Culture, and Didacticism in Procopius Wars. Leiden, 2016. Whitby, L. M. Procopius and the Development of Roman Defenses in Upper Mesopotamia. In P. Freeman and D. Kennedy, ed., The Defense of the Roman and Byzantine East, Oxford, 1986, 717-35. <laughs> external links Topic. Texts of Procopius Complete works, Greek text Minya Petrologia Greca with analytical indexes the Secret History, English translation Atwater, 1927 at the Internet Medieval Sourcebook The Secret History, English translation Doing, 1935 at Le Cuscursus. The Buildings, English translation Doing, 1935 at Le Cuscursus. The Buildings, Book IV Greek Text with Commentaries, Index Nominum, etc. at Soren Oltianu's LTDM Project Works by Procopius at Project Gutenberg 
works by or about Procopius at Internet Archive H. B. Doing's Loeb edition of the works of Procopius, Vols. I. V. at the Internet Archive History of the Wars, Secret History Palestine Pilgrims Text Society 1888, of the buildings of Justinian by Procopius, ca. 560 AD Complete Works 1, Greek ed., by K. W. Dindorf, Latin trans., by Claude Maltre in Corpus Scriptorum Historiae Byzantina Pars II Vol. 1, 1833, Persian Wars I-2, Vandal Wars I-2 Complete Works 2, Greek ed., by K. W. Dindorf, Latin trans., by Claude Maltre in Corpus Scriptorum Historiae Byzantina Pars II Vol. 2, 1833. Gothic Wars IIV Complete Works 3, Greek ed., by K. W. Dindorf, Latin trans., by Claude Maltre in Corpus Scriptorum Historiae Byzantina Pars II Vol. 3, 1838. Secret History, Buildings of Justinian Topic. Secondary material Herbermann, Charles, ed. 1913. Procopius of Caesarea. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton Company. Entry for Procopius from the Suda. 